The following program may contain subject matter and language suitable for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad Bad papa There we go. I, uh... <clears throat> Just give me a sec, would you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meltdown, Season 5, Episode 10. McBurney! <laughs> Inventions! <laughs> And welcome back to the finale episode of The Meltdown. My name is Norm. My name is Jeff. My name is Lou. Wow, sweet. Okay, that went really <laughs> fluid. I was, like you that. can't tell that was taking like 19. Tell. That's that right. Nervous. Yeah, that we've done this so many times. Because we're professionals. <laughs> professionals. And today we are shooting uh, remotely from the <coughs> Museum of Inventions. And uh, of course, as you know, it's a great museum. I'm sure you've been there. And... Uh, because Can today I just we're talking your, uh, what shooting now? remotely makes it sound like there's a camera on a Roomba. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's or not that I'm, I'm, or that we're on a, a different planet or in the woods. <laughs> well, we're in a different location, Lewis. So this is why I use the word remotely. <laughs> I just wanted you to be more specific to the lovely people. Okay. And the thing. Okay, so yeah, yeah. The camera is on a tripod as always. The There's no rumba. There's <laughs> these <laughs> guys are off on their own freaking. Like, you know you can grow thing. potatoes yeah, on Mars. Yeah, huh? uh, yeah well. <laughs> anyway, today, if we ever get to it, we're gonna be talking about inventions. Now, of course, last episode, Jeff and I ran through twenty five inventions that we thought were, you know, pretty stupid and useless. And uh, we've narrowed it down, <laughs> not by much, but we've narrowed it down to 15. That's awesome. And I'd like to thank you guys, if I may, uh, for, oh, for having me up yes. to do this too. This is always, uh, the last one was a was a hoot and, yeah, yeah. and a holler. Let's begin the show <laughs> the right. way we always do with some Meltdown Fun Facts. All right. Here's your fun fact for today. Inventions are things that people create. That's it for fun facts. Now let's Whoa. have a look at a compilation of Lou's best moments on this season. Wow. Because the fact of the matter is that if we all quit all the time, you know what would never happen? First of all, we'd never fucking find Waldo. So that's, that's something which is frustrating. I'm at the mall and there's some kids with their mom shopping and uh she's got the kids in a harness and a couple of leashes because they're not free range kids folks this is something that i have done my whole life i started when i was 12. i, I would stay home from school as a matter of fact and do it all day i did it so much folks one of my arms got larger than the other arm i'm watching a news show and they're talking to a guy that they refer to as a cryptozoologist he then goes on to explain that cryptozoology is the science of studying animals that no one has ever found or proved existed. Every article I read is the advent of artificial intelligence and how it's going to take over our world and it's going to be like Skynet in the Terminator movies because that's a good indicator of the future, a James Cameron film. I did notice yesterday an article where they're now a packaging Tinder with a companion app called Tender which tells you if you have a, like an unsightly rash. When I was baptized, my baptism gift was a leg of prosciutto, swear to God! Leg of prosciutto, whole leg, delicious. And my concern, folks, is that aliens are going to come here and then uh, some creature named Elcon 4 uh, from the planet Zootron is going to be using me as a toilet brush. The first person who built the submarine built it out of wood and tar. What's going through your head? And we're back. Are you back. okay with the face I made when you said that? <laughs> no. It was like this. I didn't, I'm not looking at you again. I'm looking at the I was the surprised audience. that you said that. I'm, uh, I'm touched and horrified. But you should be. Uh, and you should be touched and horrified. Same way I felt at camp, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I see. We both went there. Well, it was, I in just all fairness, it was camp touched and horrified. So that, was, <laughs> that would have been a tip off. So now for some meltdown stupid stupidness. <laughs> 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we have got a monitor here for Lou to see the inventions that we talked about. And for you at home, we're just going to flash them up on the screen for you. So, Lou, are you ready? I, you know what? I'm, I am ready to have the level of stupidness elevated from yeah. last year. <laughs> right. And from what you tell me, yeah. that, that you were able to, to achieve I that. think we found some, so. some, some new stupid inventions. And these are inventions that I would say probably you didn't have to be invented there's no point to them well no invention really has to be invented <laughs> right now we're gonna go to yeah uh, here we go invention number one for you Lou mm -hmm. is the baby stroller and scooter hybrid <laughs> so here's the product now if it if it wasn't dangerous enough already <laughs> here's what I have to say here first of all I'm gonna be taking my you'll be seeing this a lot this move right here and then the exasperated as if I had a slushy yeah, at, least, at least 15 times here's the thing about this yeah. if you get up one day and on your chest your list of to do is like I'm gonna walk the baby that yeah. seems really normal but I gotta get it up to 60 <laughs> Yeah, that seems like, and I'm not a parent in this country, but I, the, my point is, in this country, yeah. <laughs> my, my kids are overseas. Yeah, that's, that's I, right. I think I have in, 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 Over in Europe, there's a lot of a short, balding, husky kids with a bad attitude, and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. My point is, you're going too fast with a baby. Yeah, yeah. Like, how is there... You know, some of these I see, and i got to be honest, how has someone not clubbed you? <laughs> how have you lived this long that that would be yeah. the choice to oh, make? Oh, I understand. I understand, Luke. I am upset by it. I understand Look at the baby looks... You know what the baby's saying right now? What the fuck? That's what the baby's saying right now. Dude, do we need to get to the Walmart that quick? I don't think we do. <laughs> there are a lot of weird baby inventions. Uh, as there are. That's true. Discovered. And we're going to see another one. But why? There's and it's. A, I yeah. like that it's three wheels. Well, yeah. At least there's a bit of stability. stability. No, yeah. But if this four. guy it has to come four. to a sudden you stop, carefully. listen. Oh, you're right. If this guy has to suddenly come to a sudden stop, right? Suddenly come to a sudden stop. So that's <laughs> yeah. really, really sudden. That's right. <laughs> that kid, Almost back in that time. kid uh, belted or not, is going to be flying out of there. <laughs> Maybe that you know. So here's my different invention. Where the baby is, you put a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know that it isn't. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know what? And if anyone's thinking of taking my baby catapult idea, <laughs> fuck you. That's right. I patented it. Okay. Here's our next, next one. Here's our next All invention. Right. This is great. The baby mop. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't really have a problem with this one. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Babies are lazy. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't care that your head is not solid yet. It's time you went to work. For God's sakes. I can tell you right now, this is an Italian baby. <laughs> right now. A learning floor. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Because of the floor and off scene, there's an Italian guy in an undershirt going, it's about time you did something. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Again, a cry for help. Yeah. But he looks happy. I mentioned this last week. Does he not look happy? And that's my point. That's exactly my point. Let me tell you something. A lot of people wait till the kid is like, I don't know, till their bones are fully fused before they go, here's a paper roof. Okay? I was putting tar shingles on a roof when I was six. Six. That's right. All right. That's how that story ends. There's no funny part of the year. Ready for the next one? I am. I don't even know what's coming up. I just Man, know that we you know, have the kid can do them. the weird tongue thing where it looks like a two. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like four percent of people or something. Can Multi talented. Do that. I can't do that. Yeah. Or or he's hit a nail and he's just caught. <laughs> I've been fishing and I caught a baby. Right. By the way, if you ever get to go out east, the baby fishing is unbelievable. All right, our next invention is uh, quack a duck build protective muzzle for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this this was one of they're my, looking at the baby mop apparently. This, <laughs> see, here's what I'm fascinated by these things: yes, is the Luke. train of thought. Like, what <laughs> elements had to happen in sequence, yeah. so that at six in the morning you're in your bathroom <laughs> having a cigarette and a coffee and going, you know, what my dog needs. <laughs> like, my dog is is really cool, but would be really cooler with some sort of dog duck hybrid, maybe a decog we could call it. A decog. I don't know. Yeah. Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I guess it keeps them from 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 biting. From making friends thing, is what it, it keeps does. them from. It also makes them look like things out of a horror film. That's that's what I think. I, if I saw that on the street, well, you know I'd be why? Because they're the different colors. Way. When is the last time you no, saw a duck with just, a brown bill? Okay, listen. I don't believe it's, it's the like colors. Chernobyl. So focus on the one on the right. 
Just the one on the right. I'm sorry, but that is fucked up. <laughs> They're all fucked up. That is scary as hell. I, I feel like it's it's a dog auditioning for a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> That's probably that was yeah. that was like that. You're not going to make the cut. It's too disturbing. I, I think if that, only he had some kind of prosthetic, he would have been perfect for I this. Just find it weird because the dog is already like, all right, listen, I know I have impulse control. Clearly, you bought me a muzzle. I get it. That's humiliating enough. Now you're going to make me look like a duck? I am going to kill you in your sleep. That's what that dog is saying. Just go to sleep. And that's why he's got the muzzle on. Wow, that is... Yeah. All right, moving on to our next wacky... And I'm head. broke. And Just to be yeah, clear. Yeah. I have no money. Duck muzzle guy. Millionaire. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Is it called the Duzzle? I don't Is it called the Duzzle? It's quack. Uh, well, that's lazy. It's, it's what it's called. You don't name stuff after sounds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, re- your- I apologize uh, that I it w- wasn't named something else. <laughs> Computer would be called Clack Clack. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of Clack Clack, here is our next invention. The flask tie. <laughs> so I'm going to need a second. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously, you know, <laughs> you'd think <laughs> this guy is work. Listen, this guy's work day is not going bad. <laughs> no, he's, no. he's checking out something on his monitor. He's but having that's, a little drink before lunch. Well, first of all, it's porn. Second of all, <laughs> he should look happier, should he not? <laughs> well, like if I was so st- <laughs> on on Jaeger bombs at ten in the morning in the office, I'd be in a pretty good mood. And I, I love that inconspicuously, he's got to hold it up three feet. <laughs> yeah. to keep hey, Trevor, going. what are you doing over there? <laughs> my tie is a level, and I'm fixing my desk. <laughs> now, <And> fuck off! <laughs> I'm working on the projections. Wow. Maybe like an hour later, there's another picture of him being more drunk. <laughs> or the next one's got coffee. <laughs> he's got a bow tie with coffee. Oh, right, he probably, probably has his flask tie and a coffee hat. But here's what I love about this. This opens up the field of injecting liquids into solid objects. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, no, it's no, no. You, there's an actual flask in there with a with a tube, right? But that's what I'm saying. So you put the. Flask so why can you do that with other stuff? Oh, you. I suppose you could put milk in there, and it would be a milk tie. I don't mean. I don't mean different liquids, Norm. Oh. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, you could put peach juice in there. You could put soda. You, I know how a flask works. My point is, just a bottle with a good thing on top, right? My point is, you could do other objects. You right. could do a shoe. Okay. You could have a shoe flask. What would be the point of a shoe a shoe tie? What would be the point of a shoe tie? First of all, if you, if there's a place in downtown Ottawa that does roast shoe tie. <laughs> It is. Oh God. It, it comes with asparagus. <laughs> the rusty shoe tie. <laughs> Let's make it even worse. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. All right, here we go. I love this. I'm going to be honest. The other one's not so much. This, I've had office jobs, dude, and it would have been, and no disrespect. Thank you all for the opportunity, okay? But uh, I, think, I think you guys knew 10 minutes into hiring me. When My parents arrive, are super proud. When Sorry. you arrive at work, wouldn't your tie be big because it would have oh. the contents in it and it would get smaller? Well, no, because it's a flask. flask You're saying it's solid size. as opposed yeah, to being yeah, you a you bladder There's an opening but inside and you just slip it, the flask in the yeah. tie. Yeah. I've rarely gone <laughs> for a flask. Uh, tie or otherwise. I, I, I've drank from a lot of bottles. But if you had that, cans. Jeff, you could. Well, all the time. You could uh, do right. this while you're driving over. I <laughs> have. <laughs> I, 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 I got really drunk on the way over here, Norm. I luckily, flat now. I luckily have been an 1860s cowboy and thus have had opportunity to drink from a flask and use a spittoon. So <laughs> well, I feel obvious. like I'm that's too off my bucket list right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. the time, then the go. That was fun. Here is the next one, uh, the Hug Me Pillow. <laughs> so now, Lou, you just came off of set working with a uh, prosthetic body, correct? I did. A, a very, so, uh, yeah, a very upsetting prosthetic body. Yeah, and this uh, is half a torso and, of course, with the one Here's arm. Here's what I love. <laughs> yes. There's so many things about this that I love, okay? Because the, 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 the empathetic part of me goes, well, I appreciate that, that loneliness sucks. And sometimes it's nice to get a hug. Sure. So, okay, I got that. On the other side of it, I find it interesting that they gave it a shirt. Because why? <laughs> it's half a body. Why do you need a shirt? Well, like, maybe in next frame she's unbuttoning it's like, it. You know, it's like, some, yeah. It's like somebody it made it. it becomes the like fuck me pillow. Somebody, <laughs> exactly. Somebody made it was like, you know what? This is upsetting. Maybe, a, I don't know, a teal shirt. Yeah. There you go. So I think well, that, it's a common color, right? It's a common is it? color. For is half it? pillows? I would, think it, I would think when you're trying to go to sleep, a lot of people have a I'll tell you what happened here. Color, so. What happened here, where there were two factories, I'm going to say in China, 
And one was a mannequin factory, and one was a defective stuffed animal factory with just arms. It exploded, welded them together, and some industrious fellow went, hug me pillow. <laughs> now, Jeff, when, when we did this episode, Jeff pointed out that you know, the arm could come in handy as well for other things, <laughs> because that's where his mind went. Well, as somebody... <laughs> well, look, isn't this not sexually suggestive? As, I mean, come on. As somebody who's masturbated with a puppet. <laughs> that's not a sentence you hear very much. Wow. <laughs> By the way, I'm having shirts made up. You can check them out at, at Masturbating with Puppets. <laughs> Great Metallica record, by the way. Wait, that's not Metallica. Master of Puppets. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot funnier in my head, so I'm going to say it again. Okay. Thanks for being <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I get this one more than I got the others, although I would advise uh, that if there are those of you who do drugs, uh, <laughs> this is going to freak the shit out of you. Because <laughs> at some point you're going to forget there's a, a stuffed arm here, and you're going to go, oh, like that. And then you'll probably do it 40 times, and then just throw the hug me pillow away. <laughs> And, and it goes back into nature, so it's a circle of it's life. It's a circle of life. <laughs> All right, here's our next uh, awesome invention. Uh, oh, I love that. Uh, the knitted bearded hat, which, which I think, and I, I think I introduced this last time, is not only great for the outdoors, but also for bag heists. <laughs> because... Or, if our, to my actor friends, if you guys get a Duck Dynasty audition... <laughs> That's the way to do it. Right there. If you have some kind of defective gene that you can't grow your own facial hair, there's your solution, my friend. I bet you're at home right now going, God damn it, when I grow a beard, it's wispy and ill-placed. Is there perhaps a product that would make me look like a complete asshole? I don't know if you've seen the other one where it's just the nose. They have a piece just over the nose. Yeah. Uh, and it's a duck bill, ugly enough. <laughs> Remember from the p one the quack? quack, the, the the quack. I, I want to clarify, you're not having a stroke. Right? You're no, no, just saying the quack. Okay. I'm just saying just the name of the problem. Quack! Quack! <laughs> Jeff Paddles. I, I don't oh, yeah. know what to make of this because I don't really get why. Well, okay, think of our Canadian winters. They can get pretty Hold darn on. cold. Do you think that would I'm, help? You can't say... Think of our thing, and then you don't give me a chance to... No, but I... I, I, I need a second. <laughs> but I was finishing my sentence. Okay, go. No, I've already finished it. Oh. I was thinking what about it. What I was it, saying was, yes. considering our cold Canadian winters, uh -huh. A, uh -huh. would that come in handy? Like, it doesn't cover... I don't know, and I'll tell you why. Or anything, but... Uh, first of all, why is the beard a different color than the hat? <laughs> that seems it's odd. supposed to be a beard, that's why. <laughs> really? Yeah. So it's Paul Bunyan? Why is it bright red? Uh, I don't understand. A lot of guys with uh, gray hair have red beards. Do they? <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> I'm going to Google it. It's a little known fact, but it's true. I don't feel, I, I just, I, I guess I get it, but uh, you know what's easier is a scarf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a hat. Well, he's got the hat. No, no, I know. Are you not looking at the... <laughs> yes, but uh -huh. instead of the beard, the hat and the scarf is what I'm saying. And you know, and again, what I, I know, I mentioned what fascinates me about these is the notions of how they do it, but yeah. also that you know this is sold, yeah, a ton, yeah, <laughs> right? Because some grandmother went in somewhere, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. It was like I got you a tone low cassette <laughs> yeah. and a knitted beard hat. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. <laughs> you know what? If you do start making money, we get uh, the here. You could invent something like this. All right. <laughs> The ostrich pillow. <laughs> Where's the ostrich? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> well, he's, Wait, is the pillow made from an ostrich? No, he's, he's buried in It looks like pillow. someone took a Thanksgiving turkey yeah. and then just shoved their hands into it. <laughs> yeah. So but basically... Irma, you're in too far for the stuffing. <laughs> Pull back. <laughs> Irma. Also, is that... <laughs> I love that. Is that, Irma. Is that where... She's always doing crazy So things. we're not antisocial enough all on her phones. Yeah. When you want to be completely isolated from the world around yeah. you. Wow, man. Now, do you remember the last time we did the inventions, we we focused on something called the privacy scarf? Yeah. Remember that? I so, went onto the computer. Yeah. So this is... I found this actually similar in the way that you know you're, you're kind of... You're creating your own privacy. Okay, I haven't said this yet because I've really tried to gauge my my, yeah. my reactions, yeah. and uh, 
I might have gone to it a little too quickly in the last show we did on this, but uh, this was made in Japan, right? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. 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 Now, someone, there's a warehouse full of ostrich pillows. <laughs> Do they come in different colors, I wonder? I, you know, I don't care. You know it would be awesome? <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you could get a periscope. <laughs> yeah, we're just right? getting a little wonder in there. Sir, you're going to have to leave the library. <laughs> Entity not recognized. Because <laughs> you know that's not a normal person. Right? That guy's reading a comic in there, I can tell you that right now. I recognize my people, I know what we're like. Oh, that's so sad. Sad. Yeah. Wow. Here's our next one uh, the ping pong door. This one. <laughs> This one, Lou, you, you can turn a regular door. I am so happy right now. Into a ping pong table. That is, honestly, yeah. if I had money uh, for a house, yeah. and again, I'm an actor, so the answer is no. <laughs> but I would have a door like that. You'd have a door like that? I would yeah. not only have a door like that, I'd have ping pong on one side and chess on the other. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> and then I would buy those really tiny dogs and dress them up in little costumes so they could be the chess pieces. <laughs> and then I would buy an elephant. And then I got, I'm starting to see why maybe I don't have money. Well, well you know, you can't explain that to your broker. No. That was your day. Bought a pachyderm, Bob. It's a great investment. How? It started with a ping pong door. <laughs> That's right. It kind of went... Because that's kind of yeah. like, could you not see honestly? Could you not see students in colleges? Oh yeah, like yeah. fully on I, board for that? I yeah. I can. I I you know I I just thought it was. Here's my problem. Okay. With with this is that I I think there's a certain type of person that would use explain this a lot. <laughs> Someone who let's say had no social life. <laughs> How would you didn't play? necessarily want to meet girls? <laughs> Here's the hole in your saying. theory. I'm just you saying. can't play ping pong alone. No, you can't. Can, but you can't go, all right, everybody. Oh, but typically one is like, he's got to walk over. Typically yes. when you play, <laughs> walk back. Typically when one plays ping Speedy pong, one, they, you Check. play with the other person in the same room. I don't know if you realize this, but, but you're it's actually not like you can't two see separate him. rooms. It's not a gulag. Like you can just wave no, to the no, guy. I he's right. Understand that, he's one of, but... Or slide under the table. Here's why I love it. It caters to people's love. Of like you know whenever you see those uh, articles on like houses with secret doors or passageways, yeah, yeah. that's what this is. <laughs> that's it's true. You know that's what I true. mean? Yeah, yeah. And I I love the idea. Like I remember watching the Batman TV show in the six the sixties one. Oh, who didn't? And what I loved was the bus, the William Shakespeare bus. Then you push that button, and there'd be the two bat poles. <laughs> and I was like, if I ever have a house, <laughs> I swear to God that I will wear this uh, suit yeah. at home probably, <laughs> and which has nothing to do with what I just said. I kinda, I got to tell you, man, I kind of love this. Yeah. I kind of do. Okay, so that's one in, one invention that Lou is pro. The other ones you haven't been right. There's nothing one I was that kind of seen. okay with the, the the one a few back, but like. Like this one, I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, I kind of get it because I remember how dumb you are in college. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like, and I know this would have been something like, oop, on a ping pong door. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because, also, and here's yeah. the beauty of this. If yeah. you live in a large home and you're entertaining, you can put stuff on the table. Oh, yeah. Right? But you can't go through the door. No, but you again. See the room here. You see how? No, I not... see. The, I see the room. But that this is a before and after pick, right? Yeah, yeah. If that's the only doorway entrance to, let's say, the kitchen, well, you're screwed. You put. You put oh, stuff that's on the interesting. Table. I thought about that. Then you got to drive underneath. But here's it. what you could do, Norm. There's always a way. You bring the ping pong board down, door down. You buy Velcro. You put Velcro on all your plates. You make the food in the kitchen. You stick it to the Velcro. You flip the door back. Yeah. Shlebam! It's like a drive through Yeah. Kind of. Except all your food would come off the No place. one take my ping pong door drive through idea. Ping pong door gone. Next up, the shower mic. For those aspiring uh, idle wannabes. Which I guess is kind of a... Folks, well, that's what people right? don't know. Uh, the Roman Empire took 500 years to collapse. This will get us there in about 10. That is the saddest... It's... Who is it... <laughs> who is in a shower <laughs> like first of all how long is your shower is it long enough to do a couple of numbers off uh, dark side of the moon because if so you're wasting water just the beginning of time is like three minutes of the intro before you get to the moment listen it doubles as a sponge so not only can you sink into it you can clean yourself so to be clear something you've just used to clean your junk you're now putting in your face <laughs> 
<laughs> no, like I, any rag, Lou. <laughs> like any rag. I, first of all, Norm, buy an extra rag. We're gonna talk about that, and I will get you one because it feels like there's stuff you're struggling with right now. <laughs> Secondly, generally, something that's been near my junk and up near my face is not in a shower. All right, <laughs> it's in prison. I've seen, and then we just saw I, those. Right. I've seen porns, and that's not how it works. All right, I'm almost sure. I don't know. Again, I don't understand the motivation. And he looks so happy, doesn't he? Well, Jeff thinks he's Bono because well, of the it does sunglasses. Kind of look no, bad. dude, you know what he's doing? He's doing <laughs> Living on a Cloud. He's doing Aerosmith right now. He's totally. He's, You're right. Right? They're, or. They're, uh, he's doing Steven Tyler. I mean, Steven Stills <laughs> singing Aerosmith. Okay, you know what, guys? I want you to look at this or photo, but just listen to me. <laughs> Daddy used to work on the die. Is that not what he's doing? Yeah, he's that's, doing Bon Jovi. That's Bon yeah, Jovi. Bon that's Jovi. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's we all know that was Bon Jovi. Oh, it nice sounded a little bit more like Oscar Wilde doing Donald Trump doing Bon Jovi. <laughs> That's, you know what? And thank you for picking up on the subtlety there. I have worked on that for 14, 15 minutes. And I'll tell you, I feel like... I got it. I, I'm it's glad. Nice, it's nice when you get it. Yeah, when you get the nuance. Most people are like, he's just doing Bon Jovi. And I didn't even do that. Well, good, well, go, well, go. That whole part with the... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think care. this is a new game. You you look at somebody using the shower mic. What is he singing? What is she singing? You know what I mean? And then you try to no. do the best impersonation. You know what? I think you're right Let's about get the everyone game. into the shower. I think you're right to play this First game. of all, that's upsetting. And if you're in a, here's how you know you're in a cult. If you're taking a shower with 15 other people, reevaluate your life. Secondly, I think it is a game, but more like Clue. Like who killed this asshole in the shower? With a. Because you know, the crime scene on, on CSI is going to be just the end of it sticking out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. What happened? And it's going to be David Caruso doing, he said too much. <laughs> and the whole thing with the yeah. CSI, you know, that whole thing? All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, okay. i got to stop looking at this. I'm getting angry. Okay. Next, <laughs> next invention uh, is the corner frame. So you know, here's a wonderful space-saving idea. Or... <laughs> Or not, if you were the artist. Here's why I love this. <laughs> what did you do to my... You bet my picture. <laughs> I, I came to have this framed. Uh, what... Uh, the it, pool table door would fit in nicely. Here's why I love this. It, it, is, it is the most empathetic thing I've ever seen, and here's why. Because if you're entering the room this way, you get to see the art. And if you're entering the room this way, you get to see the art. Uh, yeah. So everybody's happy. Everybody sees Except the art. me, because these guys are idiots. <laughs> oh, my God. How small is your apartment? <laughs> well, it would have to be pretty damn small. I don't and I made entirely of plywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only yeah, thing that is this weird. Works on. That is weird. <laughs> yeah, because you can see they took a great amount of care to f actually frame them, <laughs> and then just went, "Well, we need a wall, so uh, <laughs> go down to the Home Depot and get me three sheets of plywood." <laughs> like, you didn't even bother painting it. That you can still see the nail holes in it. Yeah, you yeah. lazy sons of bitches. <laughs> the hell? But now, if you have, here's my question. Honestly, <coughs> you have an expensive piece of art or a, a, a photograph that's worth. It's an original print. Are you really going to bend it? No, like, do you let, not, let me, do you let, not no, let me take something. away from the value of I that have to, art? I have to take objection here, dude, because I worked at a comic store for six years, so you know, clearly I know. My, <laughs> my point is that there is nothing that is greater, that exceeds, the, like, that'll make it more valuable. There's nothing that does that more than bending it right down the middle. <laughs> I mean, that's, in collector circles, that's well known. That's well known. Like, if you get an Easy Bake Oven, you don't want the trays in it. You know what I mean? Like, it can't be functional or even remotely smart. Uh, Lou. Also, Lou. these are the laziest names for stuff I've ever heard. <laughs> well, they're... Well, what are they? Frames. Yeah. Where, where, do you, where do you put them? In a corner? Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to put a word cloud together. Oh, corner frames. Oh, <laughs> corner frames. Well, you know, but they do say you, you should name your product something that, that describes what it is in the fewest words possible. Sure. So, but that's like, that's, that's like, Nate, if you're selling fire hydrants, red. Like, you can't, you know what I mean? But red doesn't say what it does. Corner frames, it's, it's a it? frame that fits on a corner. So you're saying if somebody was reading something and it said corner frames, they'd go, oh, I know what that is. That's some idiot. <laughs> they would know that more <laughs> than if they looked at a fire hydrant that's called red and say, ah, that looks to me like a fire hydrant. You know what? That feels racist. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what that means. On to our next invention. <laughs> Corner the frame. cutting board bird feeder. <laughs> so. Wait. 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 Because remember how I mentioned porn before? Here's the thing. 
you're standing right where that bird is. <laughs> so your crotch is perched precariously, <laughs> no, perched no. I used, above that bird. Why would you not be standing right here? Oh, <laughs> that makes way more sense. <laughs> Never because mind. Because the corner frames are where you would be standing. Yeah. Because I've been in clubs in Germany where that's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's pretty crazy. So obviously you're cutting bread or things that would create crumbs. The mm -hmm. crumbs fall into the holes <laughs> and down to the bird feeder. My yeah. question was... Do most people cut their bread outdoors <laughs> or indoors? And, of course, Jeff said, well, it probably it's a, looks like a budgie or something, an indoor bird anyway. But really? I mean, <laughs> there's bird feed, right? What Can't I, you buy that anymore at the stores? Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. Inventions okay. are supposed to make your life easier. Yes. So what you're doing here, like if only there was an easier way to do this, I don't know, maybe just cut your bread, put it back in the fridge. And then just sweep the crumbs into a <laughs> jar. That's like now you've got potentially you got to clean the feeder part. You got to clean the hose part. Yeah. And by the way, <laughs> the word hose and bird feeder should never come into the same. Yeah. How you build a bird feeder? Nothing but hoses. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Who's the amateur ornithologist here, my friend? The other thing too, the the horrible thing is that you're training this bird to expect these crumbs to just magically appear. Yeah. To the point where you go to make a sandwich and you're you're in a different part of the kitchen. Yeah, and then and it's the bird's a... sitting there going, "Hey, hey, <laughs> here's the thing. Cut the bread already. I'm hungry." <laughs> That's the thing about Snow White. It all looks great on the surface when the birds and the squirrels are coming in. Yeah. But they're not there when they're all lined up and the... what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I brought you an apple. Can I get something to eat? <laughs> here's our next invention. The ab hanser. <laughs> now, take a close look at this, Lou. I'm going to need a moment. Yeah. Take I, want, I want to read. Read it. This is what it says on the box, folks. Yeah. Get a six pack in seconds. Seems like a great idea. <laughs> Dramatically enhance abs. Check. Adjustable straps. Check any check. Lightweight frame. Now, here's the thing, folks. <laughs> if someone is trying to talk you into getting better abs and they use the word frame, <laughs> fits beneath clothing. <laughs> so you can wear it out. Does this say recommended by pseudo yes. athletes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a drum company. I, like a recommended by pseudo. I mean, the, I, I mean this very, very. This is very, not meant for triathletes, clearly. I mean this very sincerely, folks. Like we really need to get our shit together, okay? <laughs> Just look at me for a second. L Lou is mad at the this world is, right this now. This is bad. This is really bad. This is not good. On the surface, you go, oh, it's hot. This is like we're done. You understand? Know we're not going to get to a point where the climate kills us, like. <laughs> we are gonna kill us. <laughs> but listen, what better if you can't? Get, what better if you can't get abs? At least an ab imprint. <laughs> well, here's the beauty. Yeah, here's the beauty of this. So I meet a woman, or a guy, or whatever your thing is, and things click, and then you go home, and then you go, I need a moment, and then you get naked, and they go, Were you making a waffle on your stomach? <laughs> I don't understand why you... Like, were you sitting on a wicker chair with your... <laughs> how? Because that... She's not sticking around. I don't Probably think. Probably not. Probably not, no. Because mostly what will happen is, like, that'll go poing and it'll go... Blah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I got the one big ab. <laughs> All wow. right, so we can... This is not one. And it's new. I like that it's yeah. new. Yeah. And it's electric, apparently. Oh. Electric? Well, yeah, you know, so that when you see yourself the, uh, in a mirror, you can the, kill yourself. A little lightning bolt or whatever. See? The lightning bolt in between ab and hanser. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. You wow. think that means it's... By like, the way, enhancer yeah. is spelled uh, incorrectly, in case yes. you guys are... Yeah. yeah. I don't know what hanser is. <laughs> Actually, hanser, if I'm not mistaken, was one of the reindeer that got kicked out of the, <laughs> of the troop. <laughs> Where's hanser? Screw you. <laughs> With his little hoof. Screw you, Santa. <laughs> Fat man. Like that. All right. So this is one that you would not buy. Uh, let's check out this next invention. Uh, Anti-pervert <laughs> hairy stockings. Okay, you know what? This actually makes me kind of sad, Anti truthfully. Anti-pervert. <laughs> because I bet you that this works. <laughs> it works. And what's, 
I, you know what? I can't even laugh at this because honestly, underneath this is the notion that guys are assholes and it's true. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Like, that's kind of yeah. shocking. <laughs> Although, if I saw this photo in passing, I would guess that a uh, Sasquatch and a human <laughs> have made it. Have clearly had a baby of some kind. I'd like to know what other products they have in the anti pervert line. <laughs> that's well, that's what I'm interested in. Complete the look and buy Hobbit feet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anti pervert beard hat. <laughs> You know what? Anti pervert ostrich pillow. You, you laugh, but I saw I saw anti pervert ostrich pillow open up for the clash, and they were amazing. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, they had Todd Rundgren. On that's, that's right. Part. That's right. Yeah. Who later went on to play with uh, King Creel? No. Nope. <laughs> What's the next one? So is this, this one, is just this making me is, sad. Uh, the, okay, just making me sad. Move on to the next one for Lou. Oh, it's so upsetting. The anti theft <laughs> lunch bag. So <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So the premise here is anti-theft lunch bag. So it's the bag that has mold drawn on it, I Correct. would assume, is Correct. the idea? Yeah, that keeps people from stealing your sandwich because when <laughs> they see the mold, they go, oh, I don't want that. Here's, here's my first question. Where are you going that you're leaving your sandwich in the fridge for more than a day? <laughs> well, like if you... You know what I mean? Like if I showed up at work and I dropped my lunch off in the fridge and then at four it was still there, my boss would be like, where did... He's not still here. Like that just seems weird. Also, if you live, if you work in an office where people are ripping off your sandwiches, yeah. then you need to get more creative. Yeah, I would also think if someone is gonna, you know, if someone needs food that bad to steal a sandwich, I think yeah. they'd steal it mold or not, to be honest. Yeah, and they just take it off because uh, really, why would you steal someone's lunch if you weren't? Well, then what's gonna happen is somebody's gonna see this in the fridge and go, well, clearly, it's not actually mold. You know what I mean? It's the same mold pattern every day. My I'm point. starting to pick up on this. That's right, it Bob. Kinda... You've got a mold problem. Can we talk? This kind of looks like Woody Woodpecker. Yeah. Where do you like buy your bread, Bob? <laughs> well, you and I need to have a discussion. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really get this yeah. one. Is it, is it, is that big a problem? I. So this is the, this is the thing. I, I don't, I don't think so. But maybe, maybe people get their lunch stolen. I would think this is more for kids at school, <laughs> because you know what I mean. Because like, what I would do, truthfully, is if that was an issue in an office, I would work. Uh, well, let, let me phrase it this way: What somebody might do is, is crush up a bunch of wake ups <laughs> <laughs> under the baloney, and then the guy who's the rest of the afternoon is like, <laughs> <laughs> then you know that's one way of doing it. And then yeah. you go next time, I'm gonna make you have a heart attack, All right, pal? <laughs> okay, so, I just don't get that. All right, so this one we can we can leave this one and go to our next one, which okay. is the foot powered <laughs> bike. Are they all all foot powered bikes? That's my point. And why is it why is it going around his shoulders? <laughs> because there's like no, what part there's, of this? There's no chassis. So there. it's called running with a wheel. <laughs> yeah, one in front of you and one behind you. That that to me is probably the stupidest. This is the last one, and why I left it at the last because I I think that it's got to be one of the dumbest inventions I've ever seen in my well, life. Well, clearly he does not look happy, and clearly his bottom half is in motion, fairly rapidly. <laughs> like I don't under I don't. What is the difference between doing that and, and just riding walking. a bike? <laughs> well, on a bike you could sit and coast for a bit. That's right. You can't coast with that. And it's going to ruin your posture. Right? Because you're hunched over. You see, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm having trouble putting this into my head. I don't really... <laughs> you go back to what you were saying before, though, about coming up with names for products. <laughs> so who thought... Well, let's see, it's not just a bike, it's a foot powered bike. That's right, you use your feet to drive it. Um, Mr. Samuelson. We're going to sell a million of these. Mr. Samuelson, yeah. Um, you have oh. to use your feet on a regular bike. Shut up! It's a foot powered bike, and that's it. <laughs> Let me live my dreams! <laughs> All right. Wow. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in, in, in honesty, do you think something like this would sell? No. Well, I, I haven't think, seen any around, so... No, nope. I would think someone uh, would I'd love to see that. if there's video of a demonstration of this. I'd love to see what it actually looks like. I don't... You know what? That would be kind of... Because be I think cool. that if you if you showed people it, there's no way you would sell some. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because you look like a doof. Are you going to look? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Maybe there's a video of that guy crashing into the mother pushing the baby thing that we saw earlier. Or of him walking <laughs> back into the office holding one wheel and a hammer in the other hand. <laughs> Okay, so let's hey Franz, why don't you take a little ride on the bike? It's a foot-powered bike. Mm. Let's do this. And then maybe he sees his sandwiches still. There's a good thing I have the fake mold sandwich, so there's no one to steal we're my probably, sandwich. At least probably, one thing's working out today. How much do you want to bet we're just going to come up with a lot of other actual bicycles? 
There it is. Is that it? Yeah, the Flizbike. Flizbike, okay. It had to be Swedish or German or some <laughs> shit, right? Of course it had to be. All right, let's check this out. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Wait a sec. <laughs> oh, you fucking loser. And he's got a little cup where he puts his junk. Man, this is a Fellini film. <laughs> okay, so this It, it dude... works like a skateboard. Okay, so, so he is putting... He is coasting. He's putting his feet out there. But again, what is the difference between doing that and, and pedaling? And pedaling. I, I don't know. I like the Enya music, though. <laughs> yeah, just, just to make doubly sure they're not going to sell any. <laughs> I, I got a feeling I'm uncomfortable looking at that bulge. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels well, like... Well, it is European. <laughs> it feels like I'm watching a, a film and someone is choking his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't... Fly! <laughs> it's like I'm riding a bicycle! <laughs> I'm free, fuckers! You know he's going by cars like... <laughs> You'll never catch me unless I get really tired and then stop. Uh, get walking. the sensation of riding a bicycle without riding a bicycle. <laughs> now there's an, an actual bicycle he just passed. <laughs> wow. You know how sad this is? People on unicycles are going by and we're making fun of them. That's how bad that is. <laughs> hey, look, how many people notice it? <laughs> this is a guy I would beat up just on principle. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'd be the guy with the spoke and like, okay, no, you gotta go down. <laughs> you idiot. Uh, there's some guy on a bike that's really weird. Why? I don't know. Like, well, but what's the selling point? <laughs> also, how do you detach the ball clip so you can get out of it? That's, I think you need help. Yeah, he's asking that guy there for help. Well, that's, yeah. Kill Did me you reach down help? to my <laughs> crotch and just <laughs> press this button? No, uh, please, please help me. I'm not doing it. Wait. So this guy's like, so does your dad know you're an idiot? Or? <laughs> I'm going to sell a million of these. You are uh, naysayer. Wow, that's uh, really something, eh? That's it's Russia. No, it's not Russia. It doesn't say. Man stuck in mud. Wow, Man I just do not get that at no, all. No, that is pretty bizarre, eh? Pretty wow. bizarre. Because that's not. It's, it's more. It's more like what the hell as opposed to dumb. <laughs> yeah. Like what. Like, how would you even sell it? Like, what would your selling point be? You know what I mean? Like, would you be... For those of you who like to run and then not run. Uh, well... That's what it is. So people... For those of you who like to run in short spurts and then coast, the flag is perfect for you. Experience a bicycle without riding a bicycle. It, it, to, me it's, so to me, it's like we have this $400 bike. We'll take out the chassis and sell it for $5.99. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing, and you laugh, but is the Flintstones car any different than that? No, no, it's like, but, 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 you, but we should, as a society, we should be past that. I'm going to start selling cars where people are going to come over and go, can I get, take it for a test ride? And I'll go, sure. I have some Nikes and some Adidas. What do you want to wear? And he'll go, what do you mean? And I'll go, well, I, clearly I'm not an idiot. I took the motor out so that you can propel it with your feet. I cut a hole right there. Jeez, who's the asshole here? Thank you guys again. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank and, you. Uh, You're very welcome. Thank you for coming, Lou. Of course, and, my pleasure. Uh, and uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next season. Uh, so until then, bye-bye. A River Dirch. See you later.